Every year, 1.5 million sheltered animals are being euthanized, and millions of stray animals suffer because shelters are unable to cope with a huge amount of unwanted animals. Our group realized that some animals are easily adopted, while others sadly continue to remain in their shelters indefinitely, ultimately getting put down. Furthermore, due to the coronavirus pandemic, various animal shelters have switched to online adoption in order to combat the drop in adoption rates, with sites such as AdoptAdoptSG and PetFinder allowing adopters to browse pet profiles online. In hopes of increasing the chances of adoption, and reducing the number of euthanization in shelters, our team attempted to find what factors in an adoption webpage are important. For this project, we obtained our data set from Kego, which includes photos and information from a pet adoption website. But how do we decide which of the information available, such as age, gender, amongst many others, are significant? We will make use of a decision tree model, but what is that? The decision tree model imitates how a human makes decisions. At each node, the variable that provides the most information is chosen to partition the data. The most important variable is at the top of the tree. However, decision trees have very high variance and are very prone to overfitting our data. Oh no, does this mean our pets are doomed? Worry not. To combat these problems, we limit the size of our decision tree model instead. Doing so will ensure that our trees don't get too expressive and capture the training data too specifically. We can cut down a monster of a tree like this into something more general, such as this prune tree. From our decision trees, we learn that adopters primarily make their decision based on these factors for cats and these factors for dogs. As you can see, the two strongest factors that play a part are the pet's age and the number of photos uploaded to their webpage. I mean, who doesn't love photos of cute animals? Since photos play such a large role in decision making, we have investigated further into it. We made use of convolutional neural networks to examine the photos closer to find out how the type of photos impact decision making. It works by scanning over the image in small chunks via some rule, extracting features, and then passing it into subsequent layers which does the same thing with other rules. The images are passed into the model as inputs, then the model will train on it and classify each image to either adopt or not adopt it. From the outputs, it will find all the misclassifications and updates the weights in the model accordingly, and repeats the process of training. But in reality, this takes too much time and resources to train and fit a model for our task. Instead, we can use transfer learning to not only speed up the training, but also improve our model's accuracy. Pre-trained models such as Exceptron have already been trained by millions of users and have learned the patterns for image classification. Thus, by transferring the knowledge of this pre-training into our model as seen in the diagram, this speeds up the training process and results in the model to achieve higher accuracy in a shorter period of time. And from our convolutional neural network model, we learned that pet adopters prefer profile images without having too much information, such as text and other irrelevant images, and just want to be able to focus on the pet itself. We hope that this information can be used to help animal shelters boost adoption rates and potentially save many sheltered animals around the world. Thanks for watching our video.